<laughs> say hi, everybody. You don't want to say it? That's okay. So we'll just wait for a couple people to hop on. And those of you that are just joining us, um, we are going to make an awesome bird feeder. So I'm going to make it. And he gets to help me make it. So as you guys the hop... Dad, you know, she said that I could paint it. Uh huh. So as you guys hop on, let me know who's watching with us and where you're from. And then we will get started. I'm just going to pull this up here so I can follow the comments on my computer. Do I have to copy this one? Because... Um, um, do I have to copy this one? Um, nope, you can do it however you want. I can't see the I comments wish that from was gray. Here. I wish it was. Your what? I wish that was gray. Okay. Woo! Mommy, okay, so you have... Red. Um, Mary says, me and Brooklyn eh, are here. Mommy, I want red. Uh, red. Allison says, hey. Charlie says, afternoon. And Cherie says, Louisiana. All right, well, we've got quite a few people online, so we're going to go ahead and start. So today we are making a birdhouse feeder. And if you saw our post yesterday that we have linked to, if you're on mobile, um, the link probably won't show up until after the video is over. But if you're on your desktop, it's up above the video. Um, don't open, squeeze it yet. I'm open it so okay, just wait a second. Um, and we talked about six ways to get your kids involved in um, learning to... Uh, love birds or birding and so um, in that I realized that not everybody lives in a place like we do where you can always have a bird feeder hanging from a tree so that kind of gave us the idea to do a bird feeder that could be in a potted plant all right so we're gonna pause real quick and we're gonna welcome a couple of these people we got La 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 <laughs> Hello, all the way from the Bahamas. Allison says Teresa. Iowa. Teresa says uh, Ohio. Ashley says Idaho Falls here. And Susie says Oklahoma. Um, Amy says Amy and my boys Easton and Kipton. I think that's how I say it. Um, from WI are watching. Okay, so what we need, oh, before I go any further, I need to tell you guys this was a sponsored post. So um, I am working with Ace on this, and so we are going to be using a lot of um, Ace products in this. But the cool thing is, is if you guys follow that link, I'll have my husband post it in the comments too for anybody that might happen to be on mobile and doesn't have access to the link right away. At the top of the post, if you're, I mean, at the Join. top of the video, at the top of the video, Question. if you're, shh, you can't interrupt mommy, okay? <laughs> um, as we <laughs> as at the top of the video, there's a link. And that will take you to the post that we did. And in that, there's four ways that you can enter our $150 Ace gift card giveaway, which you can do use it online or you can use it at your local Ace hardware. And Ace has really good deals, so you could definitely like buy a lot of stuff at Ace for um, $150. So Danielle says hi. Jody says Isabella is watching. My five-year-old Christy says Kentucky. Amy says, uh, oh, we already got Amy. Well, maybe we didn't. Amy, my, yep, okay. All right, Danielle says, hi, Maverick. So what we're going to be using today, and since I'm a thrifty mom, I always like a good frugal deal. So if you happen to be a Cub Scout leader, or if you happen to be a Girl Scout leader, or a school teacher, or a youth group leader, or just a mom that likes to do um, low-cost crafts with your kids, you're going to love this, because this whole project takes less than a dollar to do. So what we're going to be using first is we're going to be using these seed starter pots, and there's 23 pots in here. So 23 of these, and you're going to need two for each thing. And 23 pots was only $2.79, and I got these at Ace Hardware, so $2.79 for 23 pots. And then you're going to need half of a um, dowel, and this is a 3 16 inch dowel. And it was 36 inches long. It was only 49 cents. And I busted it in half so it only cost me 25 cents for my dowel. So um, we've got 23 of these in here for just under 3 bucks. We've got a dowel. And then we needed some nylon cord, which I picked up this. Um, and there is 260 feet. And you only need about a foot. 
um, at my local Ace Hardware, and this is nylon cord. And then to make them pretty, if you don't want to make them pretty, you can totally just do them all natural. You don't need to uh, add all the bells and whistles. Um, but we're actually going to go ahead and paint these to make them look like a flower. And what we're making is we're making a bird feeder that you can just put in a potted plant because not everybody has a big, beautiful backyard that um, you can always hang a bird feeder off of. Can so yes, so this um, this huge bag of bird seed was like under seven bucks. Mom, I don't so it's, no, I think it's that thing. Okay, so this is wild bird seed, and we got this huge thing at Ace for it was like six forty nine, six seventy nine. I can't remember like that. It was under seven bucks. Okay, so what the the theory in this is you will um you'll fill your bird feeder, you fill your little cup up like this, okay, and then the flowers will hold all of your bird seed. Okay, and then you can just use the dowel to put it in your potted plant, and the birds will come visit your plant. Okay, Danielle says, oh, my thing's not refreshing. Okay, let me refresh it. Okay, so what we're going to need is we're going to go ahead and use these. Now, these are just made out of paper. What? And so if... Um, if you put these in like a high, like in an area that gets a lot of water or rains or something like that, they're not going to hold up very good. So this would be more like something like on your porch, um, maybe where it's protected from um, um, the elements a little bit. Open. When can we do this? Um, Guinea says, "When can we do this?" And oh yes, you can enter the giveaway now if you just follow that link, and we're going to pick the winner uh, at the end of the week. And there's four ways to enter to win, so just head over to that post, and at the bottom of the post, um, you, there's four ways that you can enter to win that. Okay, so what we're going to start out with first... I added some red. You added some red, okay. So we're going to let... Okay, we're going to use the big brush, and do you want to just... How do you want to do your leaves? Do you want to do leaves, or do you just want to do the whole thing green on the bottom? Don't have to do it. Or do you just want to paint the top, and I'll paint the leaves? I don't want to. What do you want to do? <laughs> hmm? Let me stupid. You just want to do red? Not this red. Okay, what are you going to... Here, I'll, you can do whatever you want. And I'll do leaves on the bottom for you, okay? So we are going to use our craft paint here. And he's going to paint himself some flowers. Do I have some flowers? Nope, what are you going to do? You're just going to paint it red? Uh -oh. Kind of like a superhero? What color, what, what, what uh, superhero is but red? I do want, um, aqua. Aqua. Well, these are just the colors we have. I know. So what, um. But I need a different color, so can I go on to the off? Um, no. Here, want... finish, finish this. Finish, okay. What are you going to make? We have to decide what you're making. If you don't want a flower, that's fine. I want fine. a pattern. You just want a pattern. Okay. So, what, a different color. what color do you want to do now? Listen. Tina says, I love this idea. Danielle says, Monique. And Aaron says, ah, I'm late. That's okay, Aaron. Monique, you will uh, like kind of recap as we're doing. Okay, we have light green right there. So go ahead and use this. Oh, you want to use that one for the green? Here. Use that one for that green. Okay, so what we're doing is we're making bird feeders that will fit into a potted plant. And then we're also reminding you that in the post, the link that we have above, we're giving away a $150 um, Ace gift card this it's week. Dull. It's okay. Here. There, it's fine. Are you being Mr. Cranky Pants today? My children are perfect. They're never Mr. Cranky Pants, are they? Aaron says I'm late. What's going on? Uh, I just told her we are making a um, we're making Mom, a bird green. feeder that's not green. that doesn't have to hang in a tree. So for people that maybe live in apartments or don't have a big yard it's or so don't have early. a garden, uh oh, Is catastrophe. It? It's okay. That's why I had to change your clothes. 
Okay, so Maverick's decided he does not want to make, do a flower. He wants to just do a pattern. So we're just letting him do a pattern. Um, Sylvia says, awesome. Monique says, cute idea. And Danielle's giving us some hearts. Mm. Julia says, what a cute idea. Guinea says, Mommy, can oh. can I paint the inside? Um, no, because that's where their food's going to go. Okay, do you want me, what do you want me to put on the bottom? Do you want me to put a pattern on the bottom too? Do you want me to put leaves? I just want it to be red. You just want the bottom to be all red? Mm -hmm. Okay. So one thing I found, that, like when you have an idea and you want your kids to, maybe you would want your kids to do it like the example we had here. Um, sometimes when, like we do a craft project, we want our kids to do exactly how the model was. But kids get to make choices and then they also get to be told what to do a lot all day long huh mom tells you what to do and so sometimes this is a really easy way to let them have their independence because whatever color our bird feeder is doesn't really matter in fact having it all red is going to attract some different birds and so it doesn't have to be a flower just like I did and it's just a good way to let them be independent and so you know on things like you have to wear pants to school or you have to do your homework, like those are ones that, no, they don't have a choice. You have to wear pants, you have to wear underwear, you have to do your homework. You, you, you have to wear your underwear even when you're all, even if you can't wear your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> something about that, something about underwear. Um, so yeah, so but when it comes to an arts and crafts project, let them, let them do whatever they want. They don't have to follow the the pattern that mommy had. Or daddy. Or daddy. Okay, so that looks awesome. Okay, so here's what he did. He just did a pattern. Okay, what are you gonna do on the bottom one? Um, can I enjoy this one? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I'll start painting this one though for you. What color do you want it? Um, red, a pattern of red and yellow. A pattern of red and yellow. Okay. Well, I'll start doing your red, and then you can come back and you can do the yellow. Okay. Okay. Aaron says, thank you, thank you. Love that you shared that. <laughs> Jenny says, oh, I thought you could go make these at Ace with your kids. Nope, you can just go buy the stuff at Ace if you want. Um, like I said, I was just at Ace, and I picked up these supplies. Because um, I was looking for a creative bird feeder idea, and I like I said, I realized that not Mommy, everybody. I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna wash this paintbrush out. Not everybody has the ability to hang a big old bird feeder up on their tree, so that's what prompted the bird feeder inside of the potted plant. Gina says, "Looks neat. Thank you, Guinea, not Gina." Okay. So why don't you come back and I'll wash that out for you and you can do yellow now. It's done. It's done? Okay. Yeah, but now my hands are wet again. That's okay. Hop up here. As he wipes it down the front of his shirt. Okay. Now my Here you go. And there's the yellow. So go ahead and paint your yellow stripes and mommy's going to go wash these brushes out. do as he's finishing painting that is we're going to need something to put our um, bird feeder on and these pots already come with a hole in the bottom which is super convenient so we're going to use that to stick our um, dowel on but we need something to stop it so it doesn't just slide all the way down our dowel so that's what we're using the nylon cord for and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off uh, probably about a foot of cord. And then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. And my hot glue fell out. Do you see where the hot glue thing he went? No. Hmm. Mommy, do you see um... I have a tiny bit there, so I'll start it. No, Mommy, no. Popcorn, um, thing. It looks like a popcorn container, huh? Yeah. Good job. I want one. 
Okay, so I put some hot glue on here. Jamie says, I love that kitchen. Thank you. And a different Jamie Cruz says, good job, whiz kid. All right, so I need to go find the, oh, here it is, good. Yep, okay, so are you done painting? Yep. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am taking this cord and I'm kind of bunching it up and I'm making it to where it will work as a plug for that hole. So our um, cord, so our, so our cord won't, um, I mean, so the dowel won't slide down the thing too much. Okay. Um, so somebody commented on my kitchen, Jamie did. So Jamie, here's a little fun fact about my kitchen. Is when we moved into this house, we needed a full kitchen. Uh, here, give me the glue. <laughs> a full kitchen uh, remodel. And we got all, we thought we had all the money set aside. And we got into the remodel only to realize that all of our plumbing had to be um, redone. So that was like a seven, eight thousand dollar bill we weren't expecting. And anyway, we just had, as we opened up the walls, we just had one big issue after another. And so um, we ended up, we had ripped out our kitchen and we had put our countertop in. Hey, don't, I don't want bird seed all over the house. Okay, you can put it in your thing once you're done, okay? And then, um, anyway, we ended up living without a kitchen for three years. We had our fridge, we had our stove, and we had our like countertops, but we didn't have any kitchen cabinets. Um, we just had open boxes underneath, um, and we had sheetrock walls, and it was totally crazy. But we waited till we could pay cash for it, and then three years later, we finally had enough money to um, pay cash for our kitchen, and. Um, we didn't have a huge credit card deal, bill, bill, which was nice. But meanwhile, we lived without a kitchen, um, cabinets, and a functioning kitchen for three years. <sighs> I should take pictures and show you all. It was quite the event. Okay, so I lost my little helper. Kimberly says, hi, from Caldwell, Idaho. Hey, Kimberly, you live where I live. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is he has painted these for us. So we have our two tops. Maverick, did you want to come help me put this together? And then we're going to glue them together, okay? So just make sure that your holes line up. And we're going to put some hot glue on there. I'm going to make sure that our holes line up. Do you want the red on top or the green on top? The green. You want the green on top, okay. Hey, Mommy, wait! It looks awesome. You did a really good job. Okay. So, um, now we have our stick with our nylon cord on it. Hi. Jamie says, awesome. Our house is 105 years old. Well, ours was only, ours was built in the early 70s. And so it looked like the Brady Bunch had totally lived here. Like it, they could have totally used it for like filming the Brady Bunch. Um, but it had good bones, and so that's what we liked. Okay, so now we're going to poke that through the hole, and then that cord is going to work as um, a stopper so it doesn't fall down our thing anymore. And if you can see up in there, it has glue, so it's kind of all sealed off so the bird seed isn't going to wiggle out. Do you see that? Okay. So that's all we have to do. Now all we have to do <laughs> Now all we have to do is just fill this up with our bird seed and then we can just stick it into our potted plant. And then we have a cute little feeder for the birds to come eat. Um, Jamie says, ha ha, he's so cute. Aaron says, great job, buddy. Okay, so another really easy bird feeder that you can use is once again, we're going to use the, um... Why is it glitching? Why is it glitching? Yeah. I don't think it's glitching. Uh, Jamie yeah. says my kids would love this. Okay, so once again, we're going to use, um, 
one, of these, one of these little um, seed starter pots. And like I said, you get 23 of them for under three bucks at Ace, uh, Ace Hardware. Okay, so what we're going to use on this one is we're going to use our Ace uh, string again, our Ace nylon string. And what we're going to do is we are just going to create like a bird seed bell. And so, hi mom. Hi sweetheart, how was your day at school? Good. Good, you have violin, so make sure you're ready for it. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut ourselves some string. Okay, and then we're going to feed that string to like our bird feeder huh? seeds, pots that we made. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to poke that string down through the hole. Ellen says, I have so much craft stuff that I need to put it to use. Yes! And then Joe well? says, how fun, my kids would love this project. And Cheryl says, hello from Washington. Okay, so we're, we're putting this, um, we're putting this through the hole in the top, okay? And then once again, we're just going to use our hot glue and we're going to glue these strings to each side here, okay? So, what, sweetheart? How does it work? How does it work? I'll show you in just a second, okay? Okay, so we're going to glue that on there, on that side. Put, kind of put my finger on there. Ah! <laughs> Keely, you want to help me? Yeah. Do you want to get a butter knife out and then get that peanut butter and then actually get a plate to roll some of the um, bird feet on? Okay, so one of my strings fell out. It's okay. Just stick it back in there. And once we glue it, it won't fall out anymore. And when you glue this, try to do opposite sides. So we already glued it on one side. Now we're going to try to glue it on the other. Okay, so now we're going to glue it down to the other side. Does somebody feel like we need to sing the Adele song somewhere from the other side? Somewhere on the other side? How's that song go, Keely? <laughs> somewhere from the other side! <laughs> that was a very bad version. That was more like a Jim Carrey version. That's how I sing, it's more like Jim Carrey. Okay. So there we go, there's our bell. Okay, so there's the base. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come get in here. It looks like a bell. Yep, okay, so now she's gonna smear peanut butter all over the surface of the bell. And so you don't get your hand gooey, stick your hand up in there, okay? There you go, smear it on there. Pine cones in. You did it with pine cones? In preschool. In preschool? Yeah, pine cones. So like I said, that these these little um, seed starters, you get them at Ace, and they're only they're 23 little pots, and they're under three bucks. So it's a super low cost project to do if you have like girls girls camp, girl scouts, boy scouts, youth group leader, or you just want to do a fun project with your kids at home. Um, I must have scared everybody away with my Adele singing. Okay, go ahead and get it on the top too. Mike, you can do the thing with peanut butter. That's enough. That's plenty. Okay. She probably put a good uh, half a pound of peanut butter on this little bad boy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to put our bird seed... I like peanut butter. ...on... Just don't eat it off of here for the yeah. birds. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put our bird seed right on the peanut butter. Make one of these Nina says, uh, this is awesome, fun for my little ones. Awesome. I hope you'll do it. Watching birds is such a fun thing to do with your kids. I remember when I was little going to my grandma and grandpa Ashby's house and, um, and watching birds with them, and they just loved them. And, you know, it was something that when I was little, I didn't always stop to, Keely, don't be creepy. <laughs> I didn't always stop to just look and enjoy the birds, and that was something that was taught to me. And so, as we do these projects with my kids, I'm hoping to help them understand that you have to kind of stop to look at the birds. You have to stop to 
enjoy nature. Smell and, the roses. Yeah, smell the roses. And invite them into your yard. Oh, um, smell the roses. Okay, so there we go. There's our bird seed bell. And then we can just go hang that in a tree. Um, and it's lightweight. It's going to be easy to hang. And um, once the birds eat all the stuff off, you can bring it back in if you want and add more peanut butter or you can just toss it. Um, so fun project there. Um, Ashley says, I started watching. How did you attach the strings? Uh, we just attached them from the bottom uh, with some hot glue. So we put them through the hole and then we hot glued the strings. Um, you could use like craft glue or something, but I'm worried it wouldn't hold quite as well. So you want to go ahead and use some Gorilla Glue, or you could use duct tape, but we used hot glue on ours. Duct tape. Um, Kayla says this is awesome. And if any of you guys missed the video, all you have to do is share this video to your page. And as soon as I end, you can watch the whole thing. You can fast forward, rewind, pause, uh, blur out my Adele singing, because we all know that was fabulous. <laughs> um, whatever you want, but we would love for you guys to share it. Um, so you can remember how to do it later. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end. And don't forget that the link above, if you're on a desktop or mobile, the link will show up as soon as this video ends. You can hit that link. Or actually, if you ho hover over this little uh, icon over here, sometimes it will give you the link if you're on mobile too, this little red icon in the middle, I mean in the corner. <laughs> and um, there's four ways on our post that you can enter to... Um, win a $150 ACE gift card. So awesome giveaway. We're giving it away at the end of the week. And it's, all you have to do is answer questions. There's no, you don't have to like, follow, share. You don't have to do any of that jazz. All you got to do is answer four questions. Check out the, um, there's a couple links that take you to the ACE site so you can kind of pick your favorite items. Aaron says, thank you. Vicki says, hello. Hi, Vicki. We're just getting ready to end. But like, you know the drill you've been on before. You can uh, rewatch this video as soon as it ends. And Ashley says, love it. Thank you. Uh, Nina says, my little ones, Maya, Elijah, and Olivia say hello. And they can't wait to try this. Awesome. And Kayla says, this is awesome. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will probably be back um, tomorrow or maybe even later tonight with another fun project. Don't push the button yet, little one. <laughs> She's standing right there waiting to push that button. So, all right, and like I said, if you are just joining us, we just made ourselves some um, bird seed feeders that can go in your potted plants because not everybody has a tree or a bush to hang a feeder in. If you do have a bush or a tree, this is another fun way, and these projects can be made for under a dollar or under 50 cents. Um, so great for uh, group activities, and I think we're gonna call it quits. Talk to you all later. Bye.